In this video, we're going to show you through the Deep Link Juggernaut in SEO Ultimate for WordPress. You can see I'm already looking at the Deep Link Juggernaut on my screen now, so we'll just quickly go through what it actually does. It's a really, really super useful way of being able to automatically link certain words or phrases in post and page content to a specific URL. That URL can be on your website, on another website, uh, it doesn't really matter, it's really up to you. But if you have a great deal of content on your website, it's a fantastic way of being able to keep it interlinked with minimal work whatsoever. So I'll first off by showing you a demonstration. You can see if we go over to my homepage that I'm looking at, I've got the word Google in here. So what I want to do is look for the anchor text called Google and we'll put in the URL of google.com. We won't worry about the title attribute, no follow and new window options at the moment. We'll just save that. We'll come back to this website here and refresh. And then you can see that this has been dynamically linked through to Google and that will indeed happen in every single post where that word is mentioned. So with that, it's important to know that there is a such thing as too many links and too many links will be frowned upon by Google. And it's for that reason that content link settings is a fantastic place to look into. You can see the first settings that we have there pertain to where the links are automatically added. We've got posts, pages, and media, they're the defaults. Uh, recipe and jobs are custom post types that I currently have on this WordPress website and which is why they're not actually automatically selected. But of course, if you do heavily rely on custom post types, then all you need to do is come in here and check these boxes as well. Next, we come down to the self-linking settings. And the first one you can see is allow posts to link to themselves. So let's just imagine that we've got a page on basic HTML and you might have a rule that says every time the word HTML is mentioned, it should link to this page. Now at the moment, it won't actually be able to link to itself because this rule isn't checked. If you'd like to allow that, you can just simply turn that on. And the next option just allows you to have the post link to a URL from where the visitor actually came from. So if they came from the post on HTML, should the post they're viewing be able to link to that page as well. Then we go down to the quality restrictions. And here you can see we've got the ability to limit how many auto links per post or page are added. And I strongly recommend that you think about using these. You mainly wish to use the second setting, which is don't link the same anchor text more than two times per post or page and also to not link to the same destination any more than one time per page. So you could have uh, two rules, both for the same term, and with these two options selected, they'd each link to a different page. Then we come down to the auto dampening effect. This allows you to decrease the auto linking frequency on the website, and it's not enabled by default, but you can turn that on you know, as a way of helping manage the amount of auto links that are created, and by default it'll be 50%. If you'd like to manage this on a link by link basis, you can simply select the second option, which allows you to then change it back in the screen we saw earlier where we added Google as an auto link. Then we see the tag restrictions. And this just means that any of these keywords that appear within those tags, they won't actually be automatically linked, which is definitely a very handy thing because it's very likely you won't want uh, the headers to be linking out to different pages. Then we find ourselves on siloing. And the first option we have is posts can only link to internal destinations that share at least one category or tag or anything related to custom post types or taxonomies you may have on your website. This just means that unless the posts, I'm assuming you select these options, so unless the posts are within like a shared category or tag, then it won't actually generate those auto links. It's not on by default. Uh, how useful it is will really depend on the structure of your website. So uh, we need to leave that up to you to decide if it's right for you or not. Finally, you can also add a CSS class to the auto link so that you can style them differently. And as always, once you finish making changes here, always click save changes. The next item of interest within the deep link juggernaut are the footer links. And this allows you to add in links that you'd like to appear across the whole website in the footer to be generated automatically by the plugin. So what you can do is very simply put in some anchor text. So we'll just say WPKB and we'll set it to go to WPKB.com. You can choose any of these settings as well if you'd like, and when you're done, you can hit save changes. So we'll go back to the website now, hit refresh, head down to the bottom, and there in the middle, you can see a link to wpkb.com. There's also some settings available for this, which we'll go through now. And these settings are strictly regarding the HTML that the plugin is going to generate when inserting these links into your website. So you can see you've got these links that are appearing in a div with a specific ID, SU footer links and the text align is set to center. Of course, you can change this 
can maybe delete that style out of there and then go and put that in an actual CSS file. And then you can also change the link format, which if you'd like some more information on that is up here. And you can also choose to use a separator other than the pipe. So you could use two pipes, you could use double arrows and so on, very straightforward. And of course, when you're done here, you need to hit save changes and then those will be updated on the site in real time. So that's the end of our walkthrough of the DeepLink Juggernaut. The most interesting part of it, we think, is the content links area, the ability to dynamically link words in posts and content and pages across your website without the real need to actively think about it is a wonderful tool, especially for very large sites. If you have any questions about what we've covered today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.